Welcome to the ninth edition of our Great Driving Road series. This time we're driving from Srinagar to Leh with the Hyundai Alcazar. And the interesting bit about this is going to be crossing Fotula Pass. That's the main bit of our Great Driving Road. But along the way, we'll see some beautiful mountains, some amazing scenery, and an excellent car to drive with. So like, share, and subscribe to the UO India channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified. There are two ways to come to Leh. One is via the Leh Manali Highway and the second one is going to Srinagar and then turning east towards Kargil, Dras and then Leh. Uh, and if you want to drive to Leh, the better route right now is via Srinagar because there's a lot of landslides and road work going on between Manali and Mandi which doesn't make it a pleasant drive. Uh, now what we are doing is driving from Srinagar to Leh and the key pass that we want to do for this great driving road series is the Fotula Pass. After you cross Zojila, which is a very challenging and a very messy pass, uh, now there is a lot of work going on there that makes it a lot better to drive, but it's still, you know, one of those tricky passes. Uh, once you cross Zojila and you keep driving towards Kargil and Dras and then Tule, uh, Fotula is about two and a half hours uh, to Leh and the road there is butter smooth beautiful winding roads the landscape is out of this world it's like you've not something that you've not seen before you know uh, it's somewhere like you were probably in europe but without the green meadows and the mountains here are all dry of course but the road and the driving road is excellent we needed a big spacious car for a long road trip this is the petrol Alcazar. It's got 157 horsepower, 192 Newton meters of torque, and that's plenty uh, on a long road trip. What we have experienced over these past few days driving up is that it's such a breeze to drive. Uh, the petrol Alcazar has these paddle shifters, it's got an automatic gearbox, and it's also uh, got like cool seats of course uh, in the north in, in these hills you might think that why do you need cool seats but there are certain patches where this is also a dry desert deserted land so when the sun is beating down it can get quite hot in the car so cool seats are a huge plus on this car it makes the drive a long journey a lot more comfortable Another thing because, uh, you know, there's something I want to talk purely about Hyundai also, not just about the Alcazar, uh, because I've seen how uh, Hyundai has transformed over the years, uh, improved its engineering and its cars and made cars a lot better to drive. Uh, I remember somewhere in, the, in early 2015, uh, I had gone to drive the facelifted, the fluidic Verna that was about to uh, go off the shelves uh, in, a, in a year or so and the next generation Verna was supposed to come in and that is when they had changed uh, the rear suspension to make it a little stiffer, make it a lot better to drive and the way that was received, that was like the turning point for Hyundai to make better driving cars. You know earlier Hyundai's were slush boxes, slow to drive, you could uh, like them in the city because they had nice comfortable soft suspension and all this stuff but on long journeys uh, it was not that much fun to drive uh, but with with those changes uh, they realized that people were receiving their cars a lot better uh, with cars that are better to drive you know and that started trickling into every vehicle uh, that Hyundai started making uh, from the i10 to the i20 the i20 n line uh, even the Creta is a lot better to drive now than the previous generation car was uh, and that has sort of translated into the Alcazar of course the Alcazar because it's a seven seater it's a lot bigger and there is going to be body roll and on long road trips and all you are going to experience the roll but it's a lot more comfortable uh, car than uh, what Hyundai's used to make before the Alcazar despite its size it's got enough grunt the uh, gearbox because you've got paddle shifters you can stay in the right gear they've also given uh, driving modes you know you can switch from 
a comfort to eco to sport so maybe if you're on a highway and you're at cruising speed you just put it in comfort uh, or eco and get your best mileage out of your car or you can put it in sport by a switch of this uh, button uh, and just get a lot more punch out of your car the alcazar also has android auto and this is the split screen setup so you get to see your music right next to the maps and so you don't have to control switch between the two also you can use them from the steering mounted controls but it's better to see both you know on the screen this is a premium feature for uh, more premium cars uh, that you don't get in say the smaller hatchbacks and all this stuff what i also like about the alcazar is this huge panoramic sunroof just look at how much space you've got how much light you've got coming into the cabin and when the weather is nice you open it all the way and just soak it all in i love how the dials change their graphics are quite cool in the alcazar when you go from eco and comfort and sport the alcazar has so much space everywhere it's got a lot of charging ports there are a bunch of charging ports here uh there's uh, a huge gabi hole here uh, right at the back there are charging ports uh, we've got seven seats and of course in these videos you just see me but we have a film crew that shoots from another support car and i mean for them all their luggage and all this stuff then huge camera bags our luggage for uh, say a week if you're driving up to ladakh everything fits into the alcazar and there's more space so yeah big car lots of space and it drives well on a beautiful driving road fotulam may not be one of the highest passes in the ladakh region but this point where we are is the highest point on the shrinagar leh road this is 13479 feet this is the highest pass on this road you see these spray of flags right next to me these are motorcyclists who come they tie these spray of flags for safe passage on these mountain roads Fotula was such a pleasant surprise. Sure, when you're driving in the mountains, the location is going to be scenic, but you know the road surface is nice and smooth. It's wide, it's well marked, and there are guardrails at every corner. Uh, very clear line of sight. So it's a pleasure driving on this road. Now with the Alcazar, now I, I'm in comfort. I just switch to sport, and then pull a paddle, and it makes for a fun drive. I've done this a couple of times going up and down this mountain before we head further to Leh. Um I thought that I'd just you know drive past Fotula initially when we uh, are going from Srinagar to Leh but I decided you know because it's such a beautiful driving road why not take a couple of rounds of it we even uh, plan to stop at a location right up the mountain. So let's see what else is in store for us. Fotula is one of those mountain passes that we just pass on our way to Leh. It's not as high as the famed mountain passes of this region at just 13,500 feet, which is why we just drive past this mountain. But today we've stopped, we've come off the road to soak in this stunning view. The road snakes past both sides of where we are standing right now and this check out this view. Next time you're here, make sure you stop for a bit, at least a brief moment and enjoy this pass and the stunning view over here.